Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Mafia 2 Definite Edition where we'll find out what this guy is doing at the door. Hey, turn that down in there. Um Okay, we can't. Okay, we can't do anything. I thought we could actually well, punch him in the face and clear the situation, but obviously not. Get your car from Joe's garage and it should be this tinsy a little bit. Oh, wh why are you? Okay, I would love to take this one. Top speed 204 kilometers and this one of course is definitely... Okay, repair the car. That is something I should do. Taking the car. It's nice that the garage that you can heal or so to say heal your car in the garage that means that makes it we don't necessarily always have to go to the repair station that is where we need okay let me see um we don't need that since this is a mission and the way system waypoints automatically lead us there need so let's try to not totally f this car up this time every time a hundred dollars paying a hundred dollars for a complete repair of the cars of the not the cars but the car is actually I guess not always worth it you might ask why I didn't take on the other muscle car there <laughs> I didn't want to um, wreck it as or so soon because I'm not certain it was such a cool car and I am of course uncertain how but coming to think about isn't it was that was it the car out of mafia 3 not certain right now okay here would be a repair service don't need that now and there's a police car coming but i'm going to just get out of there in time okay to the right we need to go there it goes around here and i think i could you know now drive a little faster after all we are nearly on some sort of highway so that's for me the um, thing I need to get used to I'm not always paying attention to street signs I don't even know how many street signs are in this game but normally you are just allowed to um, in town at least to drive 40 and this car obviously is way faster than 40 so I always tend to drive very very fast or try to drive fast drive fast and in the end then F up the car like that just doing those little things not on purpose but was I that can't be right can it Didn't we need to get down here? Yes, that was the right thing. Oh man, going... Okay, the water doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look great, to be honest. But going the other direction would have, you know, not been very, very good time-wise. What the hell is that? Let me just see that. Is that not finished? Ah, okay. That's a ramp to this factory. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. And we need to get into the city port. And there we are. Where we might get our job here. Let's see what that is going to be about. I am not certain. I guess I need to get up the stairs. I don't even know. Oh, I can't remember if we really need to do something work-wise here oh, close the door it's windy what do you want uh, yeah i'm looking for a mr papalotto oh yeah why my name is vito scaletta my old man used to work for him and i'm looking for a job so i came here well, 
You're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayado at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. Okay, this guy's really into it and wants to show us around. Really neat fellow Steve it is then. But these guys, I assume, are not um, such law abiding citizens as well, I assume. Come on, you can tell us. Load this pile of crates under that truck. When you're done, you get 10 bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Okay, so they can be pro. Oh, goodness, that's going to be taking a little while. Oh, my goodness. And these are even so many crates. And let's see whether they all fit. Um, The question is. He said, well, don't crush anything, but I don't assume that much is going to happen right here. The doors open leave when you had enough. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Yes, uh, I, I actually don't want to, but I wonder what is happening if we do it or don't or is that even then going to bring us to the point where we say F it we are not going to do some job like this which I do assume can be boring but if you don't have anything else Jeez, you all this for 10 lousy bucks you gotta be kidding me okay we are not going to finish that he's already complaining that Although I would like to know whether there's going to be a difference if we do it or don't. Leave when you have had enough. Okay. Guys, stand this. I'm doing this for five fucking minutes. I already hate it. Okay, and I'm not going to finish it. I'm actually bored right now as well. We can't even bloody run. That is the nasty part. So I do wonder what they are actually producing here. It is a shipyard. Well, do we? It would take um, one, two, three, six, two, eight. Okay, I. I have had enough. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit, nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. So we had the keyword there. Why did we say that in the first place? Man, man, man. Oh man, the light rays coming through the windows look great. Ah, oh, you know, I love game graphics. I'm honest with you. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who wanna load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? 
Oh, uh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas, and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. i talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right then, get going. But guys, that actually right now brings us to the end of this episode, and you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.